I don't say this often, but this gun might be one of the best guns in Modern Warfare 3. Whether it's Tier 3 or the Dark Aether, this thing destroys everything. Let's show you what I mean. Well, that was weird. Uh, did I get an intro cutscene there, editing donuts? I don't think I did. I think I just spawned in here. Either way, I've been hearing amazing things about this brand new static HV SMG. And from what it feels like, it feels really, really fast. The ADS speed is just ridiculous. And when you do tax dance, oh my goodness, it is just so fast. Now, it has been quite some time since I've used a regular SMG here because I've been going for that Borealis camo as we get closer and closer to Black Ops 6. So it's been a while since I've been this mobile in a zombies game. And so what's interesting about this SMG, as you can see, it has a similar magazine here to the P90 or the Hurricane from Modern Warfare 2. It has that plastic, I don't even know what you call it, but that one, well, actually, we, I think if we inspect the weapon, he actually takes out the magazine here. Yeah, there you go. It has that little thing where it rotates the rounds in there. Super cool, super sci-fi, futuristic. I don't have it all the way ranked up, so I only have, what, like three attachments on it right here, including the sight. So I'm going to throw up the class for you right now. It's nothing special. It does have a little bit of a wobble, so these attachments, I think, reduce the recoil a little bit here. And I got to say, I've killed like seven zombies in this Outlast contract. I know I've said that for such a long time now, but man, oh man, I remember these being so intense. Oh, well, not anymore. I'll take that green tool, though. Oh, no, I just realized I forgot to pack a crystal in here. So we're going to need. Oh, boy, we're going to need to pack a punch the normal way. Ew. Well, luckily, I think this soldier is a max containment level, so that shouldn't be too bad. That being said, I do need a vehicle. So so I think I'm going to take on the night here coming down this little patch of road, get into some cover, do this little thing, take out the driver. Very nice. And the night you're still driving away from me. Nope. Are you still driving? You're still driving somehow. Well, I thought I got the driver. Okay, well, never mind. We're gonna have to find another form of transportation. Closest one is gonna be here in tier two, but I don't have a pack a bunch on my gun yet, so we're just gonna need to run. Let's hop in the donut mobile and head on over to pack a punch. All right, tier one pack a punch. Here we are, and let's continue on here with our contracts. Get up some points. I think today is gonna be a little bit of a different episode here. I've been going in the dark ether quite a bit and so unless another team here tells me differently i think i want to go into the act four story mission and defeat the dark ether worm here i love making smgs go up against the dark ether worms i just think it's so fun look at this pack a punch green in tier two man oh man this is this is a good one. Oh, they're going after my donut mobile i just feel so fast it's so freeing this is great get off the donut mobile i need that now if you are new here to the channel first thing i want to tell you is welcome aboard for those of you who have been fans or at least been watching my videos of modern warfare 3 for quite some time now modern warfare 3 just got released on xbox game pass which means that there might be a whole bunch of new players in modern warfare 3 which is pretty cool i do want to do sort of a oh wow two green ether tools how lucky is that it would be nice to do a more comprehensive guide now that modern warfare 3 zombies has been out for quite some time i I know everyone always gets their ultimate guides out as soon as possible, but I feel like with Modern Warfare 3 in the current state that it's in, I don't think the base gameplay is going to be all that different. I thought we were going to get like more contracts and more other things and more maps and whatnot, but uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. Now for as weird as this sounds, I think, oh, this is a, oh boy. Okay. Well, um, let's go back here. Okay. I originally was just going to put the donut mobile in this gas station here to revive it. I'd missed that it was a Merc stronghold. So let's clear this out first. I think I'm missing somebody on the roof up here. Maybe. Yeah, I am. There we go. And the sniper, of course. All right. Activity complete. Let's get the donut mobile back in here. Fuel it back up. Very good. And I did just double pack a punch this thanks to the containment level discount. And it's doing pretty good here in tier two. You gotta love that double pack a punch. But I think I want to go ahead and put on a legendary tool and I'll put on golden armor too why not and i just cannot i cannot resist these escorts oh my goodness they are so much fun and with a fast little smg like this i think it's gonna be so great hey hey neo geo unlocked very good you know i was thinking about modern warfare 3 as a whole like multiplayer campaign all that stuff and i gotta say 
The multiplayer side of Modern Warfare 3 started, in my opinion, started a little rough with the nothing but remakes of the Modern Warfare 2 maps, which I thought was very scary for the industry and for Call of Duty, but the post-launch support for Modern Warfare 3 has been phenomenal. Additionally, I have loved, absolutely loved the fact that the camo system is the way it is. I know it's a holdover from Modern Warfare 2 or just like, you know, an extension of Modern Warfare 2, but I love how every weapon has unique camos. I love, hey, look at that, there you go. We've got another camo that's completely unique to this weapon that you have to use this weapon in order to unlock. I think that's just brilliant game design. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there's so many zombies, so many zombies. But not only that, if you haven't been playing Modern Warfare 3 for quite some time, you may not have noticed they added in a new style of camo progression, I wanna say. I think they call them like prestige or mastery camos or something like that, prestige camos maybe. And all it is, is basically once you get the weapon fully leveled up, the first camo, which I forget what it's called, it's worth 150,000 XP. The second camo is the obsidian camo or molten obsidian camo worth 200,000 XP. And then the third uh, camo just got released and I forget what it's called, but it's worth 250,000. XP, which is fantastic because instead of hiding behind a challenge, it's hidden behind XP, which is cool because it rewards players who only use one weapon for a long period of time. And for a lot of Call of Duty players, that's what it is. That's what Call of Duty is for them. They use, like my friend Biebs, longtime fans of the channel know Biebs, remember Biebs? He really only uses a handful of weapons, so it's really nice to reward those players too. And it adds such a longevity to the game that you can get all of those different weapons with all of those different different camos like oh my goodness it's so so good I just couldn't help but think like if I was playing Modern Warfare like this Modern Warfare 3 back when I was in high school and didn't have any responsibilities like a job or a YouTube channel man oh man I would be going to town on all of these challenges it would be so much fun I love all of these zombies right here this is such a satisfying contract to do I absolutely love it wow this is a little hip fire machine too this hip fire is pretty darn good I might need to build this in a different way I might need to build this for hip fire. I guess this is noteworthy here. This weapon when pack punched currently only has 100 rounds. Whereas like the P90 from Modern Warfare 2 has 400. Oh, and I guess that HVT just didn't feel like fighting me. That's quite all right. Did they give me anything good? Deadshot. Okay, not really, but we'll take it because I believe this is now enough points to head on into tier three and triple pack a punch. Now with Modern Warfare 3 being on Game Pass now, there might be an up upsurge of more new players in Modern Warfare 3, which means maybe less people in tier three, I don't know. Oh boy, there's so many mega abominations around here. Ooh, I've got a turret circuit, let's go, let's do this. Turret circuit, go, do your magic, do your magic turret circuit. Yeah, there you go. A lot of people, if you're new to Modern Warfare 3, this is a very powerful thing to do. You can see how crazy powerful that turret circuit is. And it's gonna go there for two minutes. Absolutely insane. But we can now triple pack a punch this and really see how good this is gonna be. And what better way to do that than our good old spore control contract? I hear a big mega abomination over here. It's because there is a big mega abomination over there. My word. That's quite all right. We've got some zombies to deal with on our own. All right, this is the last inhibitor we gotta go. I feel like we got oh okay i felt like there was more zombies running behind me oh boy let's do another lap here obviously it's doing good against the dogs let's see against an armored zombie all right that's not too bad i wonder if there's uh, an attachment that lets you increase the mag size oh yeah this feels good let's hoard these guys up a little bit here do a little spin around kind of dodge this mangler see what it does against this mangler oh wow that is beautiful okay nice flat ground right here let's all get these headshots in yeah yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to where you're going, beautiful people. That happens so often to new players and in including old players. It's what happens when you get narrow vision, narrow vision. I'm just going to shoot. I'm not going to look where I'm going. See, almost happened again. See, that's a good example. Good example of what not to do. And I know we all know this, but it's just so satisfying when you're shooting all the enemies and stuff. I know it could get addicting. I know it could be really tempting to be distracted, but don't get distracted. Focus on survival. Otherwise, you'll go down and give us something good. PhD 
Loki, Deadshot, and a Sigil. I'll take them all. That is A-OK -okay with me. Let's finish off these guys because this is such a satisfying weapon to use here. It feels really good. It really does feel really good. We I this might we might need to go into the dark ether to test this thing out full, fully. I mean, here's a full mangler right here. We're going to get its helmet off and then just like that and like 50 bullets he's done. I just picked up this contract and I want to show you guys Look at how many LTVs are over here with the stupid contract. Wow, that's so many. People are running tier three today. They are going at it. Oh, that means somebody might have. They might have already opened this up, maybe. Oh, no, they haven't. Let's see. Okay, nothing. All right, all right. This will be the real test of this weapon because if it can handle this very easily, look at that. Look at that. So smooth, so satisfying. Now, again, most weapons, and a lot of people, a lot of people don't believe me when I say this most weapons are very good in tier three most weapons are like a three to five shot kill in tier three which believe it or not is really good back in my day zombies used to have infinite health and so your weapons wouldn't do any damage to them so being able to do this on the highest threat level of zombies is actually really satisfying and really fair now is this the best oh we got another we got another uh camo right there very good now is this like the best SMG or the best gun in the game? I don't think so. Well, actually, I don't know. I did see a Reddit post of like theoretical time to kills from all the weapons in Modern Warfare Zombies, and I might need to make a video about that because one, it's a lot of work, and I want to showcase the work that this guy did on the spreadsheet. You know me and my spreadsheets, I love them. But it'd be fun to see really what the highest DPS weapon actually is. Nothing good, nothing good. Oh, hello, Disciple. You're just gonna walk past me, bro? No. Oh my goodness, that's nasty this gun's nasty i am gonna throw on mags of holding right now Ooh, they just another contract is right here and i think after this contract i'll go pick up a couple casimirs and i think we're actually gonna go to the dark ether i think this gun deserves a dark ether run rather than an ether storm worm run man i could see this with a really tight hip fire like oh you could dominate with this thing now it could also be because like smgs are just inherently easier to use and assault rifles are just inherently easier to use than other weapons but definitely a very fun weapon to use oh my goodness look at that do you know how long do you know how long it's been since i've gotten a legendary tool from a tier three contract that's absolutely insane that's crazy it's been ages it's been absolutely ages look at how beautiful it is oh it's so gorgeous little risky buy station here i thought i saw a mega abomination i think we're in the clear though okay very good we'll drop this what's that oh a golden gas mask no thank you check our surroundings i think we're okay let's go ahead and do one two i think i'll go three i'll go three here that way i can get four when i go in yeah this is looking good and of course we've got to go over here i'm gonna plop down my energy mine oh there's a lot of zombies over there let's go ahead and get our perks all set up we're ready to go my goodness hello let's take care of this horde real quick this is SMG can handle it. Oh, it so can handle it. It so can. It's already gone. They're already gone. Let's go. <laughs> now for the Dark Aether, I'm gonna go back to Season 2, and I don't know if you beautiful people are gonna be happy about it or not, but I think it's just the best kind of casual Dark Aether there is. Season 1 and Season 3's Dark Aether both require a VR11 in order to do the contract solo with the Escort, so this one being the most, like, friendly or so solo friendly one there is kind of just makes it one of my favorites even though i would love my goodness i would love it if the season three dark ether had a, a different contract other than the escort one because man i love that one's difficulty it's so good my oh my this that was a weird yeah, I like logged in, logged in. I spawned in weirdly twice, both to the main Modern Warfare Zombies map and now just now to the Dark Ether. There seems to be a lot of bugs and glitches going on Modern Warfare 3, which I'll admit is not unusual, but just kind of sad to see. All right, now it's been a while since I've done this without a Scorcher and not gonna lie, I kind of want to do this Mega Abomination without any jug suit here. I think I want to do it just with this gun because as you can clearly tell, this gun is 
just going at it. There's this huge horde of zombies right here, and we're just mowing them down. This might be the best gun in the game right now. I don't know about time to kill or stats, but... And it look, it very, I've been using, like, marksman rifles, sniper rifles, SMGs, the blunderbuss, all the stuff. Not SMGs. A bunch of weird, wacky weapons currently. The RGL, all this stuff. So it's been a while since I've used a bullet weapon. So I'm going to try to get its attention here and try to run back up into cover. Yeah, there we go. I think it's on its way. I think it's on its way. And then I'm going to hop up here. And I really hope I don't regret this decision because from here, I could kill all of the zombies jumping up on top of the ladder just like this, like it's nothing. Oh, disciple, let's go ahead and throw this guy down. Oh my goodness, that's a boss zombie. Where else can they get up here from? Oh, they're, they're going up the stairs. Oh my goodness, I didn't know about this. We just got to kill everything. We just got to kill everything. I don't know if killing everything's possible in the dark ether. I feel like I've done it before, though. I feel like I've done it before. Get out of here, donuts. <laughs> That's so many. That's so many. I think I think I'm going to use my thing here. I think it'd be uh, irresponsible if I didn't. Oh my goodness, it's coming for me. It's coming for me. Get out of here. Oh man, this thing's super good though. This thing's super good, but you know what? I already threw it, so might as well. I know this one's going to be kind of a cop-out, unfortunately, but this sort of thing never seems to get old. Using a jug suit is always really satisfying and really fun. All right, anybody else around here? I think we're good. Very nice. VR11 case, Elder Sigil. I'll take the VR11 in case why not really wish there was a buy station in here so i could buy another jug suit and i'm actually gonna avoid some of my advice that i've given in the past and uh, i think i want to pick some fights here in the dark ether i know i always say don't pick your fights just go for the objective and that's very true if you're trying to just do all the contracts and get rewards and stuff but we're testing out this smg and this smg you need to pick some fights in order to get this smg going and i was watching i was editing a video back the other day and i was wondering donuts why don't we go this route here this was like one of my favorite maps in Modern Warfare 2's ground war slash invasion mode and this is a path that I would always take to try to flank these guys up here and go over here so like why not see now we're right over here and we don't have to worry about a huge horde of zombies following us. So smart, Donuts, so smart. But like always, this is going to be the true objective or the true test here. This Outlast contract is always the one where it tests your weaponry. Now I will go back to our corner here because it's gonna be really fun. Oh boy, okay, lots of zombies here, lots of zombies. Maybe not as fun, maybe not as much fun, but it's kind of handling it. I'm gonna throw this down. We'll jump down here to get some more ammo. I'll get a Molotov off the floor. Only problem is gonna be when boss to start coming around here. Gonna try to hit fire slash aim. Maybe I'll tax dance a little bit here. We've got a mangler. Oh, look at that. Look at that damage. Wow. Yeah, this is this is great. This is an excellent, excellent weapon. Ooh, a couple manglers. Let's throw down that Molotov right there. Get some damage extra done on there. I've got a field upgrade if I need it. I think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Ooh, boy. There we go. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. And and that's the contract done with. Come on, disciple. <laughs> that's right. There you go. You're all done. Let's get that disciple out of here. Look at how much damage this is doing. This is definitely like one of the top weapons for sure. Like I said, most weapons can do something comparable to this, but this is consistency at its best. And I don't even have the best attachments for this yet. Now, of course, if you don't have a scorcher here, you can always come down. Look at all these zombies. Let's go. You're all dead. You can always come down this right side of the map here in, in this little back alleyway. Oh boy, there's so many zombies. Donuts, you're gonna go down. <laughs> go, kill them all, kill them all, go. Just look at this, just look at this. Yeah, this little back alleyway here and you can go into this tear and then it'll launch you way up top. I'm very excited for this. Is the ground gonna like load in? Wow, let's pick up our bunny and I'm gonna try my best not to get too cocky here. We're gonna do our standard little Casimir throw for this first one and then we'll run away over to the second one. Kind of check the surroundings. I think I got a good clearing, good RNG spawns with the bosses here. We should be able to get this with with safety. Throw on my last couple Casimirs here. In fact, I don't see a lot of bosses. Oh, I do see a boss right over there. Oh, that was a bad Casimir bounce right there. Let's go and do this. You're going to bounce me off. You're going to bounce me there. And I think that's it. I think we did it. Let's get on over here. And there we go. Very nice. Now we're going to get this horde of zombies over here. We're going to train them out in the street like we always do. And then we can go to town on them with this SMG. And there's going to be even more. We got a train around here. That's quite all 
All right, let's go try to do some old school zombie training in between them. Very nice. We should have a huge horde right now. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my word. Oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it? That is so wonderful. Killing zombies is like my favorite thing to do in zombies. It really, really very much is here. But let's go ahead and throw down a Casimir here and try to see if there's anything. Maybe a Mags of Holding? Dang it, dude. These This Season 2 Dark Aether is getting stingy with Mags of Holding, let me tell ya. But look at this. Look at this. Tell me that's not satisfying. I mean, I know I just got like super narrow vision right there, but my oh my, this makes me like, it makes me confident. Like it almost makes me want to go into the uh, unstable rift and try out this SMG. I know that's probably not a good idea, but man, it sure gives me the confidence to. But as we know, the problem with the unstable rift is not the amount of zombies in there. It's the amount of bosses. Oh, here's what I was looking for. Look at that. There's death perception right there. I got a comment. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to find this. You beautiful people are so awesome. I I get so many comments on Discord, on my YouTube channel, like on Twitter. I got a comment saying, Donuts, there's like a special mimic, like the electric mimic. There's like a hidden boss in the season two Dark Aether, and it always disguises itself as a perk machine on the right side of the map. And I could have sworn I've seen this before, which is why I believed it. But right here, you could see we've got death perception. Oh, wait. No, that's just actually death perception. Wow, that's just an actual perk. Wow, okay, well now there's a lot of zombies over here. Okay, let's throw that down. It might be over there. It might be over here, but man, I thought that was a... I thought that was a mimic. I thought we had something cool, but oh well. We could have something cool in our hidden loot chest over here. Let's see, let's see. Nothing. Well, there's a lot of points, but still nothing great. Anyway, let's get on out of here. There are so many good weapons here in Season 5. Not only is the STG now in Modern Warfare Zombies, and it's amazing, but there is a special aftermarket part that is absolutely some of the most fun I've had in Modern Warfare for zombies in a long time. And if you want to see either of those two videos, check them out right here. And as always, stay beautiful.